This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the government reported that the hiring slowed in June, but wages rose and unemployment fell. The job market is still hot, despite the 5% increase in the Fed funds rate since March of last year. The strong labor market reports turned investors cold on stocks and bonds. Good news for workers is bad news for financial markets, if it means that the Fed will continue to raise interest rates. There is no place to hide as bonds, along with all three major indices, fell in concert for a losing week. The S&P was down 1%, while the NASDAQ dropped close to 1%, and the Dow lost 2% for its worst weekly performance since March. A winning week for the permabulls and the pessimists who have been on a year-long losing streak and believe we should be in an economy-wide recession right now. The U.S. economy, in the face of the tremendous headwind created by the Fed's raising of federal funds rates by 500 basis points since March of last year, has not only avoided recession, but is continuing to expand. We just had three consecutive quarters of GDP growth, and the most recent quarter's number was revised up from an initial estimate of 1.1%. So why is the economy so resilient and the stock market climbing? There appears to be many more tailwinds, more positives than negatives. Real final sales growth has grown three consecutive quarters. Both new home sales and single-family housing starts soared during May, and there's lots of pent-up demand for housing and a significant shortage of inventory. Spending on manufacturing plants has surged due to onshoring, and meanwhile, business spending on software and research and development rose to a new record high. Total government spending on goods and services has been rising and likely to continue as spending on national infrastructure cranks up. Consumer spending on services continues to rise, especially since baby boomers have accumulated $75 trillion in excess net worth. And as a card-carrying member of the baby boomers, I can attest, we intend to spend quite a bit during our retirement years. Now, inflation is moderating, and ultimately, the Federal Reserve will declare victory and take their foot off the brake and hit the accelerator. In a Bloomberg article this week entitled Waiting for the Godot Recession, I quote, The last two years have been a chronicle of a recession foretold. But global investors who have positioned their portfolios for the slowdown have been left twiddling their thumbs and losing out as the economy shows one sign of strength after another, unquote. To see, investing is hard, but opportunity knocks every day as long as you remember the golden rule. It's okay to be wrong. It's not okay to stay wrong. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have 75 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.